All right, so we're doing a bit of a scientific experiment here. Uh, from what everything that we've read on the internet says, and the internet is never wrong, of course, deer flies or yellow flies, whichever you want to call them, are more attracted to shiny blue things. Uh, so a lot of the traps you see people making are made out of shiny blue plastic materials. Uh, so what we've done to test this theory out is we've got a couple of different shiny blues. We've got uh, a couple of uh, milk jugs here. One we've coated with the shiny blue duct tape, and the other we have coated with what is this Rust-Oleum uh, paint and primer deep blue gloss. So it's also bonds of plastic, so that's handy. Um, as far as putting this stuff on, I think the duct tape was a little bit easier and a little bit less messy, so if that works, I would recommend that. Um, the paint, obviously, is, you're gonna you're gonna take a little while to have it dry, and then you're gonna want to do something, you know, put it in a, a bag or something to work around having all the the spray paint fumes that can get all over and into your lungs and stuff like that. So we'll see which one works best. All right, so this is the next step of our little project here. And this is applying the Tangle Trap Sticky Coating. Uh, it might be also, oh, it is. Uh, this is the Tangle Foot brand. This is probably what you'll find in most places. Uh, this is the one that we used earlier, well, we used last year on the big uh, bug balls, the inflatable traps. They didn't work real well. And what we've learned seems to be that something needs to be moving through a space for the bugs to be attracted to it. So the bug ball is just kind of swinging back and forth in a breeze and that doesn't apparently attract the bugs as much as something just kind of wandering around and that's what we're gonna do with these things. So this is um, this is also the messiest part of the process. Uh, this is again one that the, this is a can that we used last year and it is it's kind of disgusting and sticky all over from using it last year, so I'm gonna... These come with a brush inside them, but it's kind of unwieldy. So we're gonna destroy a, a cheap, regular paint brush instead of using this one. I'm just gonna put it down on a piece of uh, glossy cardboard so it doesn't get everywhere. And again, this can is real gross. Yeah, there's still plenty in here, even after using it uh, for, I think we had two bug balls out. Uh, there's still plenty in here, and it doesn't have to be a thick coat. You can see this. This very uh, slimy textured. You absolutely do not want to touch this. And here's our, we're going to do our tape um, trap because the paint still is drying a little bit. And you can see the paint, I mean, the, uh, the tape, you know, it wasn't a super job, but again, this isn't, you know, this isn't somebody's birthday present. This is just a bug trap. So, uh, I think having a few gaps in it, it's not perfect. is isn't going to really make any difference. And I'll just put a little bin on here. Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Now, the nice thing about this I'll tell you, as opposed to doing the um, the bug ball traps, is because this is flat on every side. This is actually a lot easier to apply than trying to put it on a beach ball. All right, so we've got we're doing the paint one here. I think the paint might still be a little tacky, but hopefully that's not going to make a huge difference. Uh, you can see you don't need a lot on it. You know, we're not. We're not trying to make it goopy on here. This stuff is is really sticky, and you just need a kind of a thin coat. Just make sure that all of the bits, get the edges there, are going to be covered. No matter where Mr. Bug lands, Mr. Bug is going to get stuck. All right, here we go. We've got our bug catching contraption ready. Uh, both traps are roughly the same height, so we're going to wheel this around and see what happens. And I'm going to put on a hat. And this is this is gross, so look away if you don't want to see something a little bit nasty. But this is another bug trapping thing that you can buy. 
Uh, it's a it's just a strip that you can tape on, and it has some of the the um, the tangle foot stuff I think applied to it already. So it, it's it's gross, but if you put it on and don't touch it, then um, it won't probably won't get everywhere. But as you can see, I did catch something. I was wearing this the other day, and I got a little customer on there. It is not a yellow fly or deer fly, though. Um, it was some other sort of fly. So I don't, I don't think this is going to be nearly as effective as having something that is the appropriate color to attract them. Uh, you can still get one of these strips and, and try it out for yourself. But uh, I had I had the strips um, on last year, and I think I maybe caught, like, three at the most uh, yellow flies on it over the course of uh, a, a summer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on because I definitely don't want them landing on me while I'm wheeling this around. And we'll see what we can catch. Alright, so we had about a, a 10 to 15 minute walk around in the, the yard here, and you can see over here we have our tape carton, which has one deer fly and one other, some other little fly. I'm, I'm sure that was fine to be caught, whatever that one is. And over here in our paint carton, we have, let's see, there's one. We got the top two, three, four, five, and then one other, at least one other little, a uh, couple of the little bugs on it. So, um, by our unscientific test here, the uh, the was it Rustoleum deep blue glossy paint seems to be the, the better option for this. Although they they were definitely attracted to both of them. Uh, this one, the, the painted carton, clearly attracted more actual customers. Uh, one thing I noticed, uh, just, just on a very short walkthrough, um, these things were like wobbling around a lot. Both of them were, so it wasn't just you know, one or the other. I tried to stabilize them with a couple of um, shop towels stuffed in there, but they were still wobbling quite a bit. And it did seem to be a little bit of a problem for the flies to land on them while they were shake it around too much so i would occasionally just just pause and let the uh the circling flies get their bearings and actually land on and that that seemed to work pretty well so if you want to make something like this for yourself um i guess i would suggest using the paint maybe getting something a little bit bigger uh, like a full you know um a, a bigger milk carton the shape is nice and it's got a handle on it so i think that's what i'll probably end up doing uh and if you're out in the yard, uh, get put it on something like this and just take it around with you as you're doing stuff. Um, they were definitely more attracted to these things than they were to me, so that was that was very nice. Uh, so if you come up, if you put a, something together like this, walk it around uh, an, er an area to kind of clear out what you can, and then just take it around with you. All right, here we are one last time with the uh, the bug traps that we were. We built and experimented with today. So after the original pass with both of these on the cart, uh, the taped one was coming up short compared to the painted one. But what I did was I took the two things, the sticks, and was just kind of walking around with them. Like, I, I don't know what people would have thought if they, they'd seen me. Uh, went around the yard, went around trees, uh, sh taller shrubs especially, because these bugs are, they're ambush predators. So they're going to be waiting for you when you have uh, whatever kind of trap you're using. The bugs aren't really going to come to the trap uh, as much as the trap going to them is going to be much more effective. So after the, the second pass, which was a little more thorough because I really wanted to clear out some areas around the yard, uh, we see that the taped carton actually did really well. And I think that the first time when it only got a couple was just a fluke, so we got one, two, three, four, five. So I, I think I'm gonna count all these. It's a bunch. It's a bunch. 
And then uh, the, the painted carton also is still doing very, very well. So um, I think it's really just a matter of preference. If you'd rather paint your trap or go out and get some tape for it, I, I think either one is obviously very effective. So uh, what do we do? Remember, this stuff is really, really sticky. It gets everywhere, everywhere really fast, so be very careful with it. Um, and take the traps around. That's going to be how you get rid of the, the deer flies. Uh, you know, walk around under trees, around things, try to cover in the yard. Wherever you're going, whatever you're doing when the bugs are attracted to you, that's going to be what you need to do to get them trapped. Um, so, yeah, I'm very, very, very happy with this. These have been all over our dogs this summer, and hopefully this is going to make a significant dent in the deer flat population and keep our dogs a little bit happier. Thanks for watching.